Minute is a city located in north-central North Dakota, United States. It is most widely known for the Air Force Base located approximately 15 miles north of the city. With a population of 40,888 at the 2010 census, Minot is the fourth largest city in the state. In 2012, the Minot Area Development Corporation estimated that there were between 46,000 and 47,000 permanent residents within city limits. The city is the county seat of Ward County and is a trading center for a large portion of northern North Dakota, southwestern Manitoba, and southeastern Saskatchewan. Founded in 1886 during the construction of the Great Northern Railway, Minot is also known as Magic City, commemorating its remarkable growth in size over a short time. Minot is the principal city of the Minot Micropolitan Statistical Area, a micropolitan area that covers McHenry, Renville, and Ward counties and had a combined population of 69,540 at the 2010 census. In 2012, it was estimated that the population of the Minot Micropolitan Area was 73,146. History Minot came into existence in 1886, when James J. Hill's Great Northern Railway ended its push through the state for the winter, after having difficulty constructing a trestle across Gasman Cooley. It was the end of the railway's line, so whenever a train came into the town and the stop was announced, the conductor would call out Minot, this is Minot, North Dakota, prepare to meet your doom. A tent town sprung up overnight, as if by magic, thus the city came to be known as the Magic City, and in the next five months, the population increased to over 5,000 residents, further adding to the nickname's validity. The town site was chosen by the railroad to be placed on the land of then homesteader Eric Ramstad. Ramstad was convinced to relinquish his claim, and became one of the city leaders. The town was named after Henry D. Minot, a railroad investor, an ornithologist and friend of Hill. Its Arikara name is Niwahara T. Sahakot, Niwahara T. S. R. H. K. At, Niwahara T. Shaw H. K. At. Its Hyditsa name is Derbaru Garish. The city was incorporated on June 28, 1887. The Minneapolis, St. Paul and Salt St. Marie Railroad later built a line from Valley City up to Canada. While initially their plan was to cross the Sauris River at Burlington, local interests and arguments convinced them otherwise. Landholders along the new route donated the right of way. They reached Minot in 1893. Minot and its surrounding area were wide open throughout 1905-20. Population grew rapidly due to railroad construction and availability of unclaimed land. Nearly complete court records of Ward County and Minot document the prevalence in different types of criminal activity, and offer strong support for the dubious title of crime capital of North Dakota. State Attorney General William Langer helped clean up the town in 1917-1920, but by the time Prohibition had arrived in the 1920s the city had become a center of illegal activities associated with the High Third District, which were exacerbated due to the city being a supply hub of Al Capone's liquor smuggling operations. The hotbed of alcohol bootlegging, prostitution, and opium dens that sprang up in the downtown area soon led people to give Minot the nickname Little Chicago. The smugglers used a network of underground tunnels to transport and conceal the illicit cargo entering from Canada. The 1950s saw a large influx of federal funding into the region, with the construction of Minot Air Force Base 13 miles north of the city, and Garrison Dam on the Missouri River, about 50 miles south of Minot. In 1969, a severe flood on the Souris River devastated the city. Afterward, the Army Corps of Engineers straightened the path of the river through the city and built several flood control structures. On January 18, 2002, a severe train derailment west of the city sent a gigantic cloud of anhydrous ammonia toward Minot and Burlington. One man died and many of Minot's citizens were sickened and severely injured by the noxious gas, causing one of the worst major chemical accidents of the country. In early 2006, Court cases were heard in Minneapolis, Minnesota, against Canadian Pacific Railway, the owner of the derailed train. Several cases have been settled and many others are pending. The anhydrous ammonia spill was the largest such spill in U.S. history. 
This incident was addressed by Eric Klinenberg in his book Fighting for Air, The Battle to Control America's Media as an Example of the Failure of Mass Media, specifically local radio stations, to disseminate information to the public in an emergency situation. The 2011 Mouse River flood caused extensive damage throughout the Mouse River Valley. On June 21, 2011, KXMC-TV reported that a flood of historic proportions was imminent in the Mouse River Valley, largely due to large dam releases upstream. Around 12,000 people were evacuated. On June 26, flooding exceeded previous records when the river crested at 1,561.72 feet above sea level, three feet above the previous record set back in 1881. It is estimated that 20% of Minot sustained damage from the flood. This figure includes over 4,100 homes which were some way affected, 2,376 extensively damaged, and 805 damaged beyond repair. The nearby town of Burlington was also severely damaged during this time. Geography According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 17.45 square miles, of which, 17.43 square miles is land and 0.02 square miles is water. Neighborhoods Minot is commonly divided into three major divisions. These divisions are North Hill, the Souris River Valley and South Hill. North Hill is the area roughly north of 11th Avenue North and Northwest Avenue. South Hill is a broad area south and west of Valley Street and 5th Avenue South. West of 6th Street West South Hill dips sharply to the southwest. The limits of South Hill are less clearly defined than North Hill. Though the neighborhood levels out past 16th Street South, the name South Hill is generally applied to all areas south up to the city limits. Neighborhoods in the Souris River Valley include Bel Air, Downtown, Eastwood Park, Oak Park and West Minot. Region Minot is located on the drift prairie of northwestern North Dakota. Minute is at 48 a degree 13 a euro squared 59 a euro cubed n 101 a degree 17 a euro squared 32 a euro cubed w, about 100 miles north of Bismarck. The Souris River, or Mouse River, runs through the city west to east. Important cities in the region for which Minute is the trading center include Burlington, Vulva, Garrison, Stanley, Botino, Rugby, and Newtown. Minot is almost entirely land. The Souris River, its Oxbow Lakes, and a few creeks take up just 0.14% of the city's total area. The elevation of the river at the city center is 1,540 feet above sea level. The valley sits some 160 feet below the surrounding plains. The elevation at the Minot International Airport on North Hill is 1,716 feet. The city has several small horseshoe-shaped oxbow lakes in its limits near the river, created due to the Souris's meandering course. Grid and address system, the city is laid out on a grid-based street system. Streets run north-south and avenues run east-west. Streets are numbered by their block distance east or west of Main Street. Similarly, avenues are numbered north and south of Central Avenue. There are four city quadrants to describe the exact location of any given address. Main Street addresses are simply designated north and south. Central Avenue addresses are simply designated east and west. The grid addressing system carries over into the rural areas of Ward County, making the county one of only three that do not follow the statewide grid system in North Dakota. Souris River The Souris River divides the city approximately in half north and south. The valley rises to the plains both north and south of the river. Although there are names for certain features of these hills, such as Antony Hill on South Hill, there are no general names for these topographical features. The northern rise and the plateau north of it are referred to as North Hill and the southern rise and plateau south of it are referred to as South Hill. Climate Minute experiences a cool summer humid continental climate, with four distinct seasons and moderate annual precipitation. Summers range from warm to moderately hot, with frequent thunderstorm activity. Winters are typically bitterly cold and snowy, with high winds and below freezing temperatures for weeks at a time. Lows below zero AA degree Fahrenheit occur on about 39 days during the winter, 
while temperatures reach 90 AA degree Fahrenheit on 14 days per summer, and in some years reach 100 AA degree Fahrenheit. The average annual snowfall total is 43 inches. Demographics, 2010 Census, as of the census of 2010, there were 40,888 people, 17,863 households, and 9,978 families residing in the city. The population density was 2,345.8 inhabitants per square mile. There were 18,744 housing units at an average density of 1,075.4 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 90.2% European American, 2.3% African American, 3.2% Native American, 0.9% Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 0.6% from other races, and 2.7% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.7% of the population. There were 17,863 households of which 26.3% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 42.1% were married couples living together, 9.6% had a female householder with no husband present, 4.1% had a male householder with no wife present, and 44.1% were non-families 34.9% of all households were made up of individuals and 11.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.20 and the average family size was 2.86. The median age in the city was 33.8 years 21.1% of residents were under the age of 18. 14% were between the ages of 18 and 24. 26.7% were from 25 to 44. 23.2% were from 45 to 64. And 15% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 49.3% male and 50.7% female. 2000 Census As of the census of 2000, there were 36,567 people, 15,520 households, and 9,265 families residing in the city. The population density was 2,513.1 per square mile. There were 16,475 housing units at an average density of 1,132.3 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 93.18% white. 1.34% African American, 2.76% Native American, 0.62% Asian, 0.07% Pacific Islander, 0.49% from other races, and 1.54% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.47% of the population. The most populous ancestry groups in the city are German, Norwegian, Irish, English, Swedish and French. There were 15,520 households, of which 28.6% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 46.6% were married couples living together, 10.0% had a female householder with no husband present, and 40.3% were non-families 32.5% of all households were made up of individuals and 12.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.27 and the average family size was 2.90. In the city the population was spread out with 23.2% under the age of 18, 13.3% from 18 to 24, 27.4% from 25 to 44, 20.7% from 45 to 64 and 15.4% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 35 years. For every 100 females there were 93.1 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 89.0 males. As of 2000 the median income for a household was $32,218, and the median income for a family was $42,804. Males had a median income of $30,283 versus $20,023 for females. The per capita income for the city was $18,011.
about 8.8% of families and 12.8% of the population were below the poverty line, including 16.0% of those under age 18 and 8.9% of those age 65 or over. Law and Government The Mayor of Minot is Kurt Zimbelman, a banker. As mayor he chairs the 14-member city council, but only casts a vote to break a tie. The day-to-day -day affairs of the city are handled by the city manager, currently David Wayne. Minot uses the council manager system of government. Fourteen councilmen are elected from seven city wards to four-year terms. Elections are arranged such that one councilman from each ward is elected in every even-numbered year. The mayor of Minot is elected to a four-year term as well. The last mayoral election was in 2006. All city offices are non-partisan. City elections are held in June in North Dakota, along with the state primary election. While the city's leadership has been trending towards the conservative, Minot's liberal factions have been active in recent years and have had somewhat more success than in other areas of the state. Northwest Area Water Supply the Northwest Area water supply is slightly less controversial among residents of Minot and area, however, it has attracted the ire of the Canadian government because the plan calls for water to be pumped from Lake Sakakawea, then to Minot for treatment, and then on to large stretches of northwest North Dakota. Minot voters decided in 1998 to levy a 1% sales tax to go towards the construction of NAWS. This tax fund was found in court to have been illegally diverted towards economic development purposes. A lawsuit was filed against the city and it was ordered to return the misappropriated funds to the NAWS fund. By that time, the money had already been spent, and the city instead voted to issue a special assessment on city water bills to raise the funds. Economy, largest employers, according to the city's 2013 comprehensive annual financial report, the largest employers in the city are, Minot's economy depends on the Air Force Base located 13 miles north of town making the city's economy more robust than other cities of its size due to its large service area. However, it is beset by significant problems with enterprise capital and wage standards. About 30% of Minot residents work two or more jobs, and two-thirds of households earn less than the national median household income. ING Relia Star established a service center in Minot in December 1998. ING chose Minot for our expansion because our service center employees have demonstrated that they can provide unsurpassed customer service. I think this decision speaks volumes about Minot and the caliber of people who live and work here, Tom McInerney, CEO, ING US. Financial Services Minot has seen a huge increase in population and infrastructure investments in the last several years with the expanding drilling of oil in the back and formation and three forks groups. The state of North Dakota has a website detailing daily oil activity. Education The Minot public school system operates 10 elementary schools within the city Bel Air, Edison, Lewis and Clark, Lincoln, Longfellow, McKinley, Roosevelt, Perkett, Sunnyside and Washington. The district also operates Bell Elementary, located about five miles southeast of Minot. Jefferson Elementary was closed in 2003. The old Washington Elementary building was closed at the end of 2007 and the students moved to a new building which was renovated from an old health care center. There are also two elementary schools on the Minot Air Force Base, Dakota and North Plains. There are three middle schools in the system, the two in Minot are grades 6 to 8, Jim Hill in the south and Eric Ramstad in the north. Memorial Middle School on Minot AFB, is named for fallen veterans of the U.S. Armed Forces. The school was built in the mid-1960s on the northern perimeter of the base. All three middle schools were formerly called junior high schools. The city has one public high school, Minot High School, divided between two campuses. A few blocks east of downtown Minot is Central Campus, which occupies the original high school building. On the southwest side of the city is the newer Magic City Campus, constructed in 1973 just west of Jim Hill Middle School. MPS also operates an adult learning center and Sawyer's River Campus, an alternative high school. 3. 
Private schools in Minot include the Minot Catholic School System which operates an elementary school, Little Flower, and Bishop Ryan High School, a combined middle school and high school. There is also a Protestant K-12 school, our Redeemer's Christian School, 4. Minot is also home to Minot State University, the third largest university in the state. MSU's campus is at the base of North Hill, just west of Broadway. Originally a two-year teacher's college when opened in 1913, Minot State became a university in 1987. Preschool and daycare Most of the larger daycare centers and preschools in the Minot area work in collaboration with local church groups. There are also programs such as Head Start and preschool programs through Minot Public Schools. The in-home daycare providers are state-registered licensed. Culture Minot's Midwestern setting and attitude sometimes hides its sizable and sometimes flamboyant arts community. Minot has an art museum, a symphony orchestra, an opera company, a city band, several dance and theater troupes, a youth punk concert organization, the AMP, and much more. Over 40 organizations claim membership in the Minot Area Council on the Arts, and even more exist. Nearly 40% of the city's residents are of Scandinavian ancestry, and every October since 1977, Minot has been the host to the NOSC HSTFEST, North America's largest Scandinavian American festival. Scandinavian Heritage Park is located in Minot. Scandinavian Heritage Park features remembrances and replicas from each of the Scandinavian countries Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and Iceland. Recreation The Minot Park District operates 17 parks with various facilities. Corbett Field, home to American Legion, high school and college baseball. Optimist Soccer Complex. MAYSAI Serena. The Sertma Complex which has eight softball fields. Souris Valley Golf Course, and an indoor tennis complex. The city's largest parks are Roosevelt Park and Oak Park. Roosevelt Park Zoo is one of the top zoos in the region. Dogs are allowed in Roosevelt Park, a sign is posted at the entrance confirming this. A bark park for dogs opened in the summer of 2005. The North Dakota State Fair is held annually in Minot. Nearly all recreation areas however are closed during the long winters. The local high school hockey teams use the ice rink located in the fairgrounds. The ice rink is also turned into the location of the rodeo. Apple Grove Grove Golf Course and Souris Valley Golf Course are located in Minot. The Minot Country Club is located near Burlington. Sports The Magic City Snow Bears were an international basketball association team that played their games at Minot Municipal Auditorium. The team disbanded after only one season. The Minot Mallards were a Mandak League baseball team that played their games at Corbett Field. The Minot Minotauros, an NAHL team, play their games at Mesa Arena. The Minot Muskies played one season with the American West Hockey League and played their games at All Seasons Arena. The Minot Skyrockets, a former Continental Basketball Association team, played their games at Minot Municipal Auditorium. The Minot State Beavers play ice hockey at All Seasons Arena baseball at Corbett Field, football at Herb Parker Stadium and basketball at the MSU Dome. The Mouse River Rollers play roller derby at different locations around the city, including the Mesa Arena. Minot is home to several municipal sports venues including the All Seasons Arena, Corbett Field, Mesa Arena and the Minot Municipal Auditorium. Sister Cities, Minot maintains a sister city relationship with the Norwegian city of Skien. Minot is also a sister city of Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, about 300 miles to the northwest. The cities share many qualities, including their size, location on river valleys, historical origins, and air force bases. Media Minot has several media outlets. Gmot TV, KXMC TV and the Minot Daily News report on local news daily. KCJBM, KHRTAM and Prairie Public have some local news content, but no active journalists. Radio Minute has 15 radio stations. Botino-based programmers broadcasting owns KTZU and KWGO, along with KBTO of Botino. 
Prairie Public Radio operates KMPR FM 88.9, a local community broadcaster based in Burlington operates a low power FM station, and the remainder are non profit Christian stations, of which only KHRT is based locally. Clear Channel owns and operates KCJB 910, KRLZ 1390, KYYX 97.1, KIZZ 93.7. KMXAFM 99.9, and KZPO 105.3, all in minute. AM frequencies, 910 KCJB 91 Country Country Talk, 1320 KHRTK Heart Gospel Music, 1390 KRLZ Cars Classic Hits, 710 ESPN Sports Talk Talk, FM frequencies, 88.9 KMPR, Prairie Public Radio. 91.1 K220GC, HBN Radio Christian, 91.9 K220GC, Air One Christian, 93.7 KIZZZ94 Top 40 Slash CHR, 94.9 KTZU The Zoo Classic Rock, 97.1 KYYX 97 Kicks Country, 98.1 KOWWLP The Cowlip Eclectic Community Broadcaster 99.9 KMXAFM Mix 99.9 .9 Hot Adult Contemporary, 100.7 KNDL, K Love Christian, 102.9 KWGOWGO Country, 104.1 KSAFLP, 3ABN Radio Christian, 105.3 KZPO The Fox Active Rock, 106.9 KHRTK Heart Christian, other stations, additionally, the following stations are not based in Minot, but generally have a clear signal into town, 550 AM KFYRK Fire from Bismarck, 710 AM KXMR, ESPN. Also from Bismarck, 1410 AM KDKT Fox Sports Radio 1410 also from Bismarck, 101.9 Fathoms KBTO Sunny 101.9 from Botino, Television, Minot has six television stations most of which have ATSC transmitters, KSRE, Virtual Channel 6.1 PBS, 6.2 PBS World, 6.3 Minnesota Channel, 6.4 Lifelong Learning, KMOT, Virtual Channels 10.1 NBC, 10.2 MeTV, KXMC, Virtual Channels 13.1 CBS, 13.3 Weather, KMCY, Virtual Channels 14.1 ABC, KXND, Virtual Channels. 24.1 Fox, Cable Service, Mid-Continent Communications provides cable service to the City of Minot and Minot Air Force Base. Mid-Continent offers a Bismarck originating the CW cable station, KWMK, on Channel 14, as well as KMSU on Channel 19. Souris River Telecommunications provides cable service to other nearby communities. Print. The principal local newspaper is the Minot Daily News, which publishes seven days a week. The Minot State University student newspaper Red and Green is published once a week during the regular school year, but not during the summer months. Morgan Printing produces the lunch letter three days a week on a double-sided leaflet. There is one weekly classified ad publication, The Trading Post, printed by the Minot Daily News. The Bismarck Tribune is available at several outlets in the city, as is the Forum, to a lesser extent. Transportation, Railroads, the railroads that build Minot remain, though Great Northern is now part of the BNSF Railway and the Sioux Line is run by the Canadian Pacific Railway. Passenger rail transportation is provided daily on Amtrak's Empire Builder Line which stops at the Minot Amtrak station. This is the only scheduled service stop between Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Havre, Montana. Trains make a 20-minute refueling and crew change stop in minute. Westbound trains arrive about 9 a.m. local time. Eastbound trains arrive about 9 p.m. In June, the Empire Builder suspended service between St. Paul, Minnesota, and Havre, Montana. Although service has since resumed, Minot's train station is still undergoing repairs from the Souris River flood. The baggage area of the train station has been temporarily converted into a waiting lounge to accommodate Amtrak's passengers. Highways, 
Three major U.S. highways run through the city, connecting it to Canada, Montana, and two interstates, U.S. 2, U.S. 52, and U.S. 83. U.S. 2 runs east-west and is a four-lane divided highway from Minot East to Grand Forks and beyond as well as west to Williston and into Montana. Minot is midpoint along the North Dakota segment of U.S. 2. U.S. 83 runs north-south through central Minot as Broadway. It is a four-lane divided highway from Minot south to Bismarck and north to Minot Air Force Base. Just north of the main gate at the base, the road reduces to two lanes and crosses the Canadian border at Westhope, North Dakota, where it becomes Manitoba Highway 83. U.S. 52 is a two-lane highway that runs southeast-northwest. Southeast from Minot, it follows a slightly circuitous route to Jamestown. U.S. 52 then merges with Interstate 94 after Jamestown, heading due east to Fargo. Northwest from Minot, U.S. 52 crosses the Canadian border at Portal, North Dakota, North Portal, Saskatchewan, where it becomes Saskatchewan Highway 39. The Minot Bypass follows alternate alignments of these roads around the city in its northwest and northeast quadrants, with southwest and southeast bypasses in preliminary planning stages. Airport Minot International Airport is served by four airlines as well as charters and air taxi service around North Dakota. Delta Airlines offers up to six daily round trips to Minneapolis International Airport, offering hundreds of daily connections. United Airlines offers four daily round trips to its Denver International Airport hub. Low-cost carrier Frontier Airlines also offers service to Denver, with three round-trip flights per week. Allegiant Air provides up to four weekly round trips to Las Vegas McCarran International Airport and up to five weekly round trips to Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. A fast-growing population and rapidly expanding economy in the Minot region has been a boon to Minot International Airport, with annual passengers increasing from 66,000 in 2009 to 222,000 in 2013. This increase, as well the addition of three new airlines, has put tremendous strain on current airport facilities. The current passenger terminal was designed for less than half the passengers who currently use it. Accordingly, taxiway and runway improvements are being made and ground will soon be broken on a new terminal that can house three times as many gates as well as additional airlines, car rental facilities, and offer more amenities. Within the city, automobiles dominate intracity and local area transport. There is limited fixed route city transit service on weekdays, and flexible route rural transit service on an occasional basis. Local transit services for the elderly and disabled meet federal guidelines but have 24-hour advance notice requirements. Pedestrianism in the city is inhibited by several factors. The sidewalk network is poor in many areas of the city, though improving. Automobile drivers take the right of way at all but the best marked crosswalks, and major points are often separated by relatively large distances and hill slopes. Skateboarding is illegal in streets and on sidewalks, and rollerblading is generally disallowed by downtown landowners. Sites of Interest 62 Doors Art Gallery, is an art gallery downtown displaying local artwork, our lane theatre, a performing arts centre, where the Mouse River players perform, Dakota Territory Air Museum is an aircraft museum near the airport. It contains many war and civilian aircraft. The Scandinavian Heritage Park is home to the Minot Visitors Center, as well as buildings based on the Scandinavian style of architecture, including a stave church. The grounds are home to the Minot's Arts in the Park series. Luce's Amusement Park Features an 18-hole miniature golf course and various slides and rides. Minute Riverwalk, a two-and-a-half-mile long trail for walking and biking along the Sores River in downtown Minot. Northwest Arts Center, at Minot State, features two galleries of contemporary art. Old Sioux Depot Transportation Museum, Museum and Research Center in the restored 1912 Sioux Line Depot. Painter House, a music arts and education center, which also hosts Why Not Fest, an annual music and arts festival. Pioneer Village, on the state fairgrounds, is a collection of various buildings from the Pioneer era. The North Dakota State Fair Center, 
located on the state fairgrounds, is home to many of the city's largest events, including, the North Dakota State Fair, the NOSCAR STFEST, the Big One Craft Show, the KMOT Ag Expo, and the Great Tomato Festival. It also hosts rodeos, and college hockey games. The Railroad Museum of Minot, open on Saturdays, has displays and artifacts related to the rail history of the city and the state. Roosevelt Park and Zoo, Taub Museum of Art, located in the 1906 Union National Bank building, features exhibit space in the main gallery and the lower gallery, which change every four to six weeks. Notable people, Nicole Baroud, contestant on America's Next Top Model, Cycle 3, Ronnie Bradford, an FL defensive back, Dale Brown, LSU basketball coach, Gary Cedarstrom, MLB umpire, Johnny Craig, vocalist of Slaves, Josh DeHarmel, Emmy award-winning actor, married to Fergie of the Black Eyed Peas, Ron Arat, football coach for Bishop Ryan High School in the New England Patriots, Hans Andersen Foss, Norwegian-born author, newspaper editor and temperance leader, Brynhild Haugland, 52-year member of North Dakota House of Representatives, Randy Hedberg, NFL quarterback, John Lueven, 31st governor of North Dakota, later elected senator. Worked as a banker here between college and political career, Christopher Michael Holly, actor, Tim Jackman, hockey player, Gary Johnson, 29th governor of New Mexico and 2012 presidential candidate, Simon Johnson, Norwegian-born author and newspaper editor, David C. Jones, U.S. Air Force General former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Boris Karloff, actor, star of 1931's Frankenstein, lived in Minute for a year, Wiz Khalifa, rapper, Danny Knutson, swimmer, Mark Landsberger, NBA player for Los Angeles Lakers and Chicago Bulls, Arthur Lasso, mayor of Minute, newspaper editor and organizer of the Socialist Party of North Dakota, Matthew Lowe, swimmer, Kevin Miller, voice actor for the Sly Cooper series, Michael H. Miller, U.S. Navy Rear Admiral, former commander of Carrier Strike Group 7, Hera Mustafa, diplomat, senior advisor on the Middle East to Vice President Joe Biden, Ragn Valde Nestos, 13th Governor of North Dakota, Casper Oyman, captain of U.S. ski jumping team, Eric Ramstad, city founder, Greg Fasilman Raymer, winner of 2004 World Series of Poker, Clinton Ramesha, Medal of Honor recipient, Donnie Schartz, champion sprint car driver with World of Outlaws, Michael Soltis, actor and abstract artist, Charles F. Wald, deputy. Commander of United States European Command, references. External links, City of Minute, Convention and Visitors Bureau, Chamber of Commerce, Minute Area Development Corporation, Minute International Airport, Minute Amtrak, Minute Daily News, Minute Public Schools, History, Minute History, Other, Minute Travel Guide from Waikiki Voyage, Rally Minute, Website for 2011 Flood Disaster Info.